DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule containing coded instructions for the life processes of all living things. This genetic code is found inside the cells of every organism, providing the blueprint for the traits the organism expresses. Genes, which are made up of DNA, are the basic units of heredity. They carry instructions for manufacturing proteins, which guide development and influence physical traits and behavior. These genes are contained within thread-like strands called chromosomes. Humans have 23 pairs of these chromosomes that exist in the nucleus of every cell in our body, making up our genotype, our genetic code. Most traits are shaped by multiple genes, so there is no one gene that determines height or personality. The genes we have are inherited from our parents. One set of each pair of our chromosomes comes from our mothers, and the other set comes from our fathers. Different versions of the same gene are called alleles. When we inherit the same allele from both of our parents, this is called homozygous. But it is also possible to inherit a different allele from each parent, which is referred to as heterozygous. When this happens, when we inherit two different versions of a gene from our parents, sometimes one allele masks the expression of the other. In this case, we would refer to that one that is expressed as the dominant allele and the one that is masked as the recessive allele. The resulting expression of our genes is our phenotype. It involves all of the observable characteristics that result from genetic and environmental influences. Genotype and phenotype are related but different concepts. For example, a person may have the genetic potential to grow very tall, their genotype. However, if that person is malnourished in childhood, they may end up with below average height, their phenotype. We use the term heritability to refer to the proportion of phenotypic variance attributable to genetic variance, as opposed to environmental influences. We use the term evolution to describe the change in relative frequency of genes in a population over time, which occur naturally because of evolutionary change. This happens for a number of reasons. First, there are natural mutations or errors that arise during DNA replication that can result in variations to heritable traits. Whether or not this mutation gets passed on will be partially determined by natural selection, a mechanism of evolution where individuals that are better adapted to their environment survive and reproduce more successfully than less well-adapted individuals do. So the common phrase, survival of the fittest, doesn't mean that the physically strongest survive, it means that those who are better adapted to their environment survive and reproduce. So genes that code for beneficial traits are likely to be passed on to future generations because they help the organism survive and reproduce. And this is a key idea, that the interconnectedness between our genetic code and the environment work together to shape our physical and psychological traits. Genetic factors influence environmental responses and environmental factors alter gene expression. We use the term epigenetics to describe the study of these heritable changes in the expression of genes that are caused by the environment.